Do you feel like since you, you beat Kovalev that you are now the world's pound for pound fighter? Listen, man, you know, I've said this before, you know, crowning myself is not really, you know, my thing to do. Put it like this. I, I definitely feel like I put myself in position, you know, before this fight, all the buildup of the fight was the winner of this fight should be recognized as the pound for pound champion. And now that this fight is over, uh, I don't see why it should be any different. To anyone who still feels like the decision shouldn't have gone your way, what do you say? Well, I think people are entitled to their opinion. I don't, I don't, it was definitely a close fight. Let's just put that out there. It was a close fight um, that I feel I won, hands down. Uh, I feel like I earned it. I felt like I did what I was supposed to do. I feel like I took it from the champion. <clears throat> Excuse me. A lot of times in close fights when there's a knockdown, a lot of times, especially for casual fans, it's just like this thing where it's like, oh, he knocked him down. He should have won. That's not a reality. You, that's why we have 12 rounds. You have to look at the totality of the fight and you have to add those rounds up. And, you know, with respect to the Nevada State Athletic Commission, which did a tremendous job, not just fight night, but the whole week. Um, it was my first time dealing with them as well as uh, the three judges. I mean, it was a unanimous decision. You know, it was three judges who felt the same way, even though it was close. So to answer your question, I don't have a problem with anybody feeling like maybe Kovalev got it by a round or two. That's just the difference of opinion. Maybe a round you thought that, you know, uh, that went to me, you thought maybe should have went to him. That's understandable. But anybody that's out there, you know, blowing a horn, trying to say that it's a robbery or, or you know, there's some some kind of political attachment. And if you know anything about my career, I'm not the guy that gets those kind of breaks. I'm not the political fighter. I'm not the, I'm always the guy that has to earn everything. So if I got my hand raised, trust me, I earned it. Will you give Kovalev a rematch? Well, I think a rematch is something that can definitely take place. You know, I'm not going to negotiate that right now, mm -hmm. you know, right here on TMZ. But, <laughs> you know, that's why you got a tremendous team. I mean, while I'm resting and, you know, recuperating and enjoying my family right now, you know, my manager, James Prince, um, my lawyer, Josh Dubin, my team's already putting things in place. But, you know, one thing that the Kovalev, you know, team has to understand is that the negotiations are going to be different now. You know, we're negotiating from a place of strength. I'm, I'm, you know, the champion now, and he's a challenger. So if we can, you know, everybody can come to the table with that understanding, you know, I think something can get done for sure. I really believe that, you know, once I've seen a fighter and been in the ring with a fighter, um, I have a tremendous advantage in a rematch because I feel like, you know, I can make certain adjustments and do certain things different. And unfortunately, you know, his style is set. He's got an Eastern European style, which is a great style. It's hard to, you know, to deal with, which took me a few rounds to kind of get used to uh, in my fight with him. But that's the best that he has. At 32 years old, that's the best shape that Kovalev can be in. That's the best fighter that we're going to see. And I don't believe the fans uh, saw the best Andre Ward. I saw, I think they saw a necessary Andre Ward, somebody who can bite down, scratch and claw and, and, and dig out a tough win. But being that I've seen him, the rematch is going to be a lot different. If you like what you just saw and you want to see more videos of your favorite athletes, crazy stories, and just all the best off the field stuff, uh, subscribe to the TMZ Sports YouTube channel. The subscribe button is right here. And check out more of our exclusive content right here.